I'm Crazy Chris and welcome to So Cool Science! Science you can do right at home! I'm just checking out even distribution of pressure in a fluid and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How do construction machines work? Well, that's a wicked cool question. Try this! You will need two bottles of water. Okay, all right. I'm gonna do it. You know why I'm gonna do it? Because you're gonna go off to some stupid, worthless YouTube channel that is not mine, and you're gonna get one that is wretchedly wrong. Okay, get yourself that first bottle of water and make sure that you empty it. I don't really care how you empty it, but I like to do this. I like to take a cap off and walk up to people and go, hey, take a look at what I can do. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, they love that! <laughs> Especially in cold weather. Start by showing them that you can squeeze the living crap out of a bottle of air. Then when they're done squeezing the living crap out of that bottle, I try it now with this full bottle. Well, I think I blew my a-hole out of that thing. So, how come you can squeeze the bottle of air and you can't squeeze the bottle of water? And, what does this guy do with hydraulics? Why? You came to me, so take a closer look at this. The major difference between liquids and gases is the amount of energy or vibration. Gases have tremendous amounts of energy, so much that the atoms that make up gases push each other extremely far apart. When you crush the bottle of air, you compress the space between the atoms. However, when you squeeze the bottle of water, instead of coming closer together, they exert a force along the wall of the bottle of water, making it seem impossible to squeeze the bottle of water. Pascal's principle states that pressure in a closed system remains the same, which is why construction vehicles use liquids to get a mechanical advantage. Liquid in a closed tube pushes on a much larger piston. The same amount of pressure pushes on the larger piston, but over a much larger surface area, which creates a mechanical advantage. Some people think that you cannot compress a liquid, however, they are absolutely wrong. You most definitely can compress liquids, and even solids. With enough force, these atoms can be pushed closer together. In fact, the weight of the ocean water from the surface down to the lowest levels of water puts about 40 pascals of pressure, compressing the water nearest the ocean floor about 1.8%. Under extreme pressures, about 400 megapascals, you can compress liquid water into solid ice. So now you know more about Pascal's principle. You know, being able to squeeze air and not fluid is why science is so wicked cool. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm still doing this shit.